Do you feel vulnerable? How do you deal with that? Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And today I want to talk to you about vulnerability. Talking about emotions can be really tricky, right? I mean, sometimes we are not even aware of them and sometimes we intentionally hide them. Maybe because either confronting it scares us or we feel that people will judge us for having them. We think by suppressing them, we are stronger, but that is hardly the truth. I always thought that my strength is in not showing my softer side. So when I was going through difficult times, which was creating havoc in my mind as well as my body, I thought it was best to just forget about it and laugh it off. But the more I tried to forget about it, the harder or more intense the pain became. I'm sure you have experienced this in some form. After much suffering, I knew I couldn't do it alone. And so I sought help. Two things happened that day. One, I decided I'm not going to do it alone because vulnerabilities can come in many, many forms. And two, I decided I want to talk about it and help others. And that changed my life. In fact, that time and those decisions I've taken helps me in creating such videos. Anyway, showing our vulnerabilities and expressing our emotions even with our loved ones can get quite challenging. At least in my experience, it most definitely was. So when someone asks, how am I doing? My automatic response was, I'm fine. How about you? These responses like, I'm fine, I'm great not bad, doing well, etc. are like shield we create to protect ourselves from showing our emotions. While there's nothing wrong with that, suppressing emotions repeatedly can lead to other mental health issues. Sharing our vulnerabilities though can help us accept and move forward. It also helps us get closer to the person with whom we are sharing. And yes, vulnerabilities can come in many ways. It can come up when you have to admit your mistake or a bad decision. It can come up when you talk about your failures or speaking up when someone is hurting you. It can also come up when you want to tell someone that you love them. So the next time when you're feeling vulnerable and someone asks you how you're feeling, here's a suggestion. Instead of saying I'm great, how about pausing a bit, taking a few deep breaths and considering the options and telling them the truth not in a doom and gloom way, but in a more candid and sincere way. Embracing vulnerability brings us closer to our truth. It improves our emotional self-awareness and builds trust and authenticity in relationships. And more importantly, it brings us closer to ourselves, our feelings and who we truly are. So today I want to challenge you to be vulnerable about one thing that you have been hiding. Choose the right time, place and a friend in your life and see how they will support and help you. Don't forget to share your experience though. You may leave it in the comment section below or you may discuss about this in my Facebook group or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that you like. That's it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button and share it with any friend who you think should hear this today. And I'll see you next week. Until then, stay home, stay safe.